Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and in this video I will show you guys 15 iOS 13 shortcuts that you must have on your iPhone and you will probably use them very often on your iPhone because they are very very useful. So I try to find some really useful shortcuts that will of course enhance your experience using your iPhone and help you a lot on your daily tasks. So here are 15 iPhone shortcuts that you will probably use daily on your iPhone. The first shortcut for the video is called turn on alarms and this one allows you to easily turn on multiple alarms when you need to. So if you just like to sleep a lot and you cannot wake up on one alarm, you want to set multiple ones, then you can go ahead and do that quickly using this shortcut. So once you have it installed, you will need like to configure this based on your needs of course. Just go ahead and tap on the three dots right there. You will have here two different like things. You will have preset. If you go right there, you will see like six different items that are preset. So you will have like the time when you need to be ready. So you will have these are that are presets. Of course, you can go ahead and add any time you want right there. And then you will have minutes before. So how many minutes before the time that you need to be ready, you want to wake up. So if you go right here, you will find different options. So 45 minutes, 40 minutes, 35 minutes and that like different options will be right here. You can of course remove any of them and add as many as you want. And then based on how many minutes before the time you need to be ready, you want to wake up, it will also create the alarms. So here I have like six and it will actually create six different alarms. So if I just go here to the clock app, you can see no alarms at all. Go to the shortcuts, just run the shortcut at what time I need to be ready at 7 a.m. And you can see just like that, it will go ahead and create and enable all these alarms. So you can see it has created six different alarms. The next one is called Insta Download and it allows you to download videos and pictures from your Instagram. So all you gotta do is just go ahead, copy the link of the Instagram post that you want to download. And then from here, just run the shortcut and as easy as that, it will actually go ahead and download that. So right here, it will ask you if you want to copy the caption to the clipboard, you can do that or not, whatever you want. And then you can see here one item. If you want to view it before downloading, you can just tap yes right there and it will show you a preview of the item that you're downloading. Click done right there and you're good to go. Now that item will be saved under the camera roll of your device. Extract PDF pages is a very useful one as it allows you to extract any page that you want from a PDF file and turn it basically into a PDF with a single page. So you have like PDF that has like hundreds of pages. You want to just take out one of those pages and create that into a split like PDF file. You can do that with this shortcut. So once you run it, it will take you to your files app. And from here, just go ahead and browse the files and find the PDF file. So here I have one. And this one has like 180 pages, I believe. So let's just let the shortcut run right there and see right here. Just tap a few pages and then it will show you the numbers right here. These are the numbers of the pages of the PDF. You just choose which page of the PDF you want to split. Click done right there. And then it will just ask you where you want to save that PDF. So it will basically create that single page into a new PDF file. The next one for the video is called reading mode. Now this one is pretty cool. I use it quite often on my iPhone. So basically what it does, it will just take your iPhone into reading mode. We'll enable like dark mode, start playing music and turn on do not disturb and all that stuff. Now of course you can configure it before once you install it and just choose which playlist you want to play and all that. So once you run it, just go ahead and enter here how many minutes minutes you would like to read click ok and then it will enable basically this mode will take you to the phone to the books app sorry and of course everything will be ready for you to start reading the next one for the video is called share location and this one allows you to easily share a link of your location with someone so all you got to do is just tap right there run the shortcut and it will basically create like a link with your current location 
on the Apple Maps, which you can of course share with someone on like iMessage. It will take you to iMessage, but you will still have the link here. You can copy that and share with someone even on other apps as well. Search on is a very useful shortcut as it allows us to search for different things on like different platforms. So all you gotta do is just go ahead and run the shortcut and let's just type anything that you want to search. So let's just search for iReviews here, click OK, and then it will show you a list of like Google, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, Instagram, Amazon, wherever you want to search for that particular phrase that you enter, you can go ahead and search on any of these different platforms. Reverse image search is a very useful shortcut as it allows you to search for an image on the internet. So you have an image on the camera roll of your device, you wanna search for that image and find it on the internet, just go ahead, copy that image, and then just run this shortcut. And as easy as that, it will search on Google for that image. So you can see it will find it right here. Now what's even easier is that you can actually just go ahead, go from any of your images on the camera roll, just tap the share button and just scroll down and you will find here reverse image search. Just tap right there. You don't even need to open the shortcuts app. And from here, it will find you that image on the internet. The next two shortcuts are really, really simple, but at the same time, very useful. And they're actually some of my favorite shortcuts. They're called Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. As you probably know, lately from iOS 12, I believe Apple has removed the ability to completely turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth from the control center. You will need to actually open the settings app, go to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and turn them off. Otherwise, they will just be disconnected, not turned off. But you will have these shortcuts Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which will allow you to do just that. Now I suggest you put them on the shortcuts widget right here, and then you will be able to easier go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So you just tap on one of them, it will give you the options here, Wi-Fi off, you will see right there, it will completely turn off Wi-Fi. It's not disabled, it's completely turned off. As easy as that, you can have Bluetooth the same, of course, turn on or off directly from here. Next up, we have shorten URL. So whenever you want to share URL on social media or anywhere, you want to, of course, have it as short as possible because just sending a long URL is not that convenient. So all you got to do is just install this shortcut, copy the URL, and then just simply go ahead and run the shortcut and you're good to go. It will shorten the URL and, of course, we'll just copy it on the clipboard of your device. Then whenever you need like to use that URL, Let's just go ahead and paste it right here. You can see the shortened URL right there. So automatically it will be copied to the clipboard of your iPhone. Adjust clipboard is the next one for the video. It basically allows you to adjust, edit anything that you have copied on your clipboard. Of course, links, text, that kind of stuff. So you just run the shortcut and it will show you here the clipboard and you will see whatever you have copied on the clipboard. So if you copy like some text and there's some, something wrong, like a typo or something, you can go ahead and edit it from here. Of course, you can also add like different things that you want. Click OK and then that will be saved on the clipboard of your iPhone. So that will be edited and automatically saved as well. The next one for the video is called Apps Gone Free and what it actually does, it just shows you apps that have gone free. So apps from the App Store that have been paid apps but now are free, you can find them easy here. So just one of the shortcuts you will have, today apps gone free, yesterday apps and real time deals as well. You tap on one of them and then it will show you right here a list of the apps that have been paid apps but now they're free. So you can see here a bunch of different apps that you can now download for free. QR anything is a shortcut that allows you to create a QR code for basically anything you want. You run the shortcut and you will see right here a list. You will have default Wi-Fi networks, an image, a URL, text, clipboard, or your current Wi-Fi network. Anything that you want to turn into QR code, you can do that from here. So let's just go ahead, just tap on one of those. So let's just enter text here. Okay, so basically it will turn that into a QR code. So let me just grab my other iPhone and scan this. So you can see right here, if I just go ahead and scan this, 
it will say right there contents okay so the only thing that's there is okay so basically what we typed there has been turned into qr code time between dates is the next one for the video and it allows you to easily and quickly calculate the basically the hours or maybe the days the weeks between two different dates so you just tap on it and it will show you right here the first day so usually this will be today and then you can go ahead and enter the other day so let's just go with march 18th and then you can just go ahead and take a look here at the list and just choose what you want to do what you want to know here so how many days or how many weeks or even how many hours or minutes let's just go with days and it says here 32 days until march 18th so that's very very useful and of course very easy to use as well and last but not least is photo details so you want to know the details of any of the pictures that you have on your camera roll just run the shortcut of course go ahead and pick one of the pictures that you have on the camera roll and as you can see right here it will show you all the details so you will have the image details right there it will show you the name then the date it has been taken and also the creation date you will see the media type the file extension the size and right there the width and the height as well so, so that, that is it for this video guys, guys. These, these are some really awesome shortcuts, shortcuts that you must have on your iphone and you will probably use them a lot as they are very very useful i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to download any of these shortcuts make sure to check out the pinned comment thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one